domestic violence. This one is so boring and annoying. Like, it has two stories, and the first one is fucking horrible. Barlow the Bear. It tried to be a slice of life romance short, but honestly, it just bored me. And I didn't get invested in the room for a little sip, so yeah. There was a big bear, I'm job by name, that Bongo has to fight. I like I like when Bongo got punched. The only part I like in short, honestly. Also, the bears slap each other to express love. Like, what the fuck? Is this promoting domestic violence? I'm gonna kill you! And they live happily ever after. Good lord, I hate this story so much. The narr the narrator's voice is not does not fit the story at all, by the way. I love you, Lulu Bell. No! But is the second short good? Well, no. It's pretty bad, actually. The whole Bingstock story is pretty bland and not interesting. Like, oh no, they have no food. I like when Donald went murder mode on the cow. And Willow the Giant was pretty enjoyable. This would have been a missed short if it wasn't for the damn dummies. Like, yeah, they're annoying. Why do we have to go to the freaking birthday party? The kid is annoying. The friend is annoying. Like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, don't, want, don't watch this one. It's boring terrible. I'm horny. <laughs> Three Cavaleros, boring penguin story, a boring donkey story, there's chaos, chaos, Donald is extremely horny for some reason, whoop whoop, light back to one man, Donald go get them, you you a uh, horny fuck. This movie's really bad, guys. Like, going in, I thought Salus Amigos would be the worst package film. But no, that one was actually perfectly okay. But here? It's just... It's just nothing but chaos. Donald being horny, and... Yeah, that's it. Like, as soon as Pachito comes in the movie, it, um, it automatically becomes... Chaos! Chaos! Serious moment. That we have to, uh, mm. Chaos! Chaos! Seriously, that serious moment came out of nowhere, like... Like, huh? That's our thing, the movie has some nice moments, like the... Like the free gay caballero song, and, um... I don't know, the best nice of the book that takes you to different places was kind of fun. The animation looks pretty. I don't know, that's all I got for positives. Also, Down Bad Donald's the worst Disney protagonist. Melody time! I have nothing to say about this movie, honestly. All the shorts are lame except the Johnny Apple Seed, which I thought was cute, and Peckless Bill was also fun. But I don't think there's really much to say about this movie, honestly. Moving on, I'm tired. It's just Dumbo! No, Dumbo is pretty mid, but honestly not a bad time. People like to say the crows are the racist ones here, but have you heard the Ralph's about song in the movie? Like that has to be the most racist thing that's, that was ever said in an anime movie ever. Anyways, this movie is cute. Dumbo itself was fine. Terry Q Mouse was really good. Honestly too good for this movie. The crows might be racist, but they're fun. And also, I don't know why the adult elephants are being jerks to a little baby. But it's hilarious. Overall, a cute time, but I do have to say the pink elephant scene. Yeah, it, that was the best part of the film. Bambi! 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 Bambi was a cute film. That's also kind of mid. I put it above Dumbo because it didn't have being few racists in it. But yeah, the movie just... Bambi learning to do things like, oh look, he can skate on ice. Oh look, he can talk. And then when his mom dies, it's just cuts to him being adult. So basically, what's the point of feeling anything when he doesn't have a moment to think about his mother? Oh well, that forest fire scene came out of nowhere. Like the movie was like, we need to have a climax. Uh, yeah, forest fire there. I did like the characters in this. Well, except for Thumper, he's a little bratty taller. His adult version is fine though. Anyways, a middle film that I can see why people like it. So Ludo's Amigos is okay. So it's Sam yeah. 14. You are found guilty of grooming minors. 7,000 years! I really like Snow White. 
I think it's cute and charming. First off, the dwarves are very fun. Even if one of their scenes drag on, no one that's really could do anything. She says, there. Evil Queen is an, an alright villain, but honestly, why couldn't you just make Snow White drink the potion? Like, being the fairest means being the most beautiful, right? So, if she drinks the potion, then she'll be ugly, and you'll be the fairest in the land. Also, the ending was cute at first, but once I found out how old each characters are, yeah, that thing doesn't sit well with me. But, it's overall a good movie, surprisingly, for the first anime movie ever. You're a simp. Well, this is the odd pairing. Anyways, the Mr. Toad story was alright. It's your typical being framed story with some fun stuff added to it. I don't have much to say, it's a decent little short. Now, the Ichabod story is great. I believe Bing Crosby did a great job with the songs and the narrating. The fact that the story is mostly Ichabod and Brown Bones and Before This Lady is honestly quite funny, but yeah, the Headless Farmer stuff was so amazing. Great horror with mixed with comedy. I love it. Anyway, it's a good package film. Liar! Pinocchio is great. A story about a puppet who becomes real and gets himself in trouble. It's a lot of fun. Also, Jimmy Crick is terrible at, at his job until the end. Pinocchio's life scene was, is a great way to show his character development, even though he gets captured by Iron John. But he was trying to get out of it. And yeah, the donkey stuff was generally great. Greatly horrifying. But I think the movie derailed a bit with the whole whale stuff. But I think Pinocchio proving himself was good enough to be a real boy. Overall, a great class of was that falls but slightly behind. Oh, in case you ain't heard, I'm the devil. Fantasia is simply great and fantastic. I don't think it's a flawless masterpiece like everyone else does, but honestly, I love the source in this movie. Except for the dinosaur one. But yeah, the centaur one, the sorcerer apprentice, the hippo one. They were great. And also, the fist one was kind of okay. And yeah, this is a timeless classic film. Stunning animation, stunning music. And it's overall a great time to watch.